隣で一緒に雨宿りがしたいたったそれだけの理由で存在するからくりがいちゃなぜいけないんですかGod damn it, you towering in Tuggy. Why is that one like one of the most emotional things that you have to send us off with when we get into the most serious, most badass arc in the series? I at least gotta talk about this last episode because this one meant a lot actually, like especially the second half like of this episode. That's the main bit I want to talk about, but let's just brushly go aside like the first part. So basically, like, Gintoki and the rest of the gang are like, okay, we're in charge of the Smith. It's like, right now, we need, we're in charge of blacksmiths. We need to take care of this shit right now. And they happen to get across by two fucking, just, I was just going to say, they're like fucking Dragon Quest villains like that. Just going into, they're like the hero and all that. And these guys are both fucking assholes. Just leaving, like, this cursed sword on their friend. It's like, oh, I could be asked to fucking pay the fucking, the healer from the church and stuff. Like, oh, dead. And then the other one was the actual overlord himself. Himself, coming around with his most demonic sword ever, and Gintoki and Kakura, because of fucking course, has to go fuck up these swords even more, and then just jabs them in the fucking skulls of, like, the dead skeleton and, like, some weird zombie that the Overlord left, and they actually became their actual people, but, like, swapped around, like, after a while, like, they gave the swords originally back to them, like, when they were, like, acting all evil and shit, and then when we got to see, like, the act where the actual swords were, it's like, Jesus fucking Christ, I to add to like scumbags and shit and it's like no we ain't having that bullshit right now it's like it was just such weird shit honestly just seeing the swapping around and honestly like for what that part of the episode was it was like a nice little laugh and all that I thought like that kind of was its own last hoorah to like some so, like you know this is all the serious shit is coming in although the start of the arc really is a bit more comedy filled than like what a lot of people feel I'll say that much because Every pretty much arc, even like the Shogun assassination stuff comes into it, it starts off with a bit of comedy at first. Now it's the bit I want to actually talk about, and that is the oil rain segment that Voltama. Like, this is the stuff that actually is like, I believe, the first two chapters before the volume of the Shogun assassination stuff. And honestly, it's absolutely fucking beautiful because this is what I love about this series. You can have these one off episodes that could actually bring tears to the eye or, like, get you emotional and shit, when it's, like, and that's the thing, it doesn't involve fucking Gintoki, well, Gintoki was at the end, but he was only at the end to have, like, that badass fucking line, as always, as the wise student, as the wise teacher as he always is, and honestly, the entire thing just pretty much focused on Tama, and that's the thing, it was Tama talking to, like, a tobacco, like, a fucking cigarette machine, like, talking about, oh, you want to be a friend, and all that, and, like, saying, like, oh, you're an alright person, like, everyone treats this thing like junk, it's like the whole sugar shops are going down, it's like, the only reason Tama was there was like, oh, I'm just here to pick up some stuff, like, you know, like, I was here, and it's like, that's kind of cool, you know, you're doing your job and shit, but it's like, actually came across the cigarette machine, and like, it was just really nice to see, like, you know, these two spending time, and it was like, even though, like, the machine couldn't even talk and all that, it's like, everyone has a right and all that, it's like, to be, you know, loved and all that, regardless if you're a machine or anything, and everyone thought for a while, like, oh, like, you know, Tom is actually got a boyfriend or something like that, it's like, going on, it's fine now, you don't even know that's a she, for the most part, and it's like, what? Like, honestly, it's, like, it was just really nice and emotional throughout the entirety of, the, like, the whole thing, because then the old woman decided to close down the shop, and, you know, he was, like, hanging on for, like, a long time, like, the like the whole building was starting to collapse, and he was starting to get, like, water all over the fucking wires, and Tama made it upon herself after, like, becoming friends, like, with this machine, it's, like, and that's the thing, the machine really didn't want her to go, like, a lot of the time, it's, like, spending time, and he started crying out, like, cigarettes and, like, stupid shit like that, and it's, like, when it actually came to a point where it was like, oh, it was like pretty much beyond repair. Like, you know, even Gengai said that. It's like, no, I refuse this. And it's like, started grabbing it. It's just like, it was really emotional when she started grabbing the machine and even started going around and like some piece of shit just put it in the fucking trash with the other stuff all with trash. And I was like, come on. And then Tama like stayed like side by side with it. And it's like, always wanted to be sheltered from raid. It's like, you know, why does it like, why can't like there's just be a machine that, you know, just there to like keep you company in the rain. And I was like, ah, oh, Oh, the feels right there. And it was like the best bit. Of course, the best fucking bit after all that stuff. After like time aging, she looks like she's about to tear up and everything. Fucking in Toki, the motherfucker. 
sits down like a badass on the other side and he's just like oh i'm not taking a break from the rain it's all like he's colored in he's like no but you can't take shelter here it's like i just want you know some shelter company in the rain and stuff like that it's just some shelter like i was like oh you manly motherfucker always being a badass and i'm like oh this is why we love you kintoki this is why it's like it's like he's just pretending that he forgot his umbrella and he's like oh let me just use this as shelter i'm like oh my god you badass <laughs> And I've got to say, it's like, oh, by the way, this is just oil raid anyway. And it's like, I just, oh, that was just so fucking badass. When he just said, like, he found a machine he wanted to take shelter with and all that. And it's like, the, besides, the lane, rain has already let up and it's just oil. I was like, oh, my God. you. And it was like his own kind of way and all that, saying, like, you don't have to take shelter anymore as well. It's like, kind of let go Tama and all that. It's like, and let go as well, like her friend as well. Like, that was really emotional. It's like, this is why this guy does fucking shit like that. Like, he always likes to teach you, like, a little lesson and all that. Like, she, that's honestly, like, really emotional when you get to that shit. And that's why a lot of people really high this, like, episode really high up above all of them and all that. It's like, even still, like, this fucking machine and all that, I believe it was, like, with tobacco or something like at the end. It was like, it was just really nice to have an episode where it's just Tama. Like, Tama's one of the more... I like to say underrated characters in the series because she doesn't really get that time to shine like a lot of the characters, but I really do like that stuff about the whole questioning about, you know, like robot ethics and stuff like that, and like, you shouldn't treat machines bad just because, you know, they can't talk back to you or anything. I, I love that kind of stuff. Like, that really is some, like, interesting stuff for the series to drop down. It's like, I, I really enjoyed the whole bit about, like, the oil rain going together. Like, that... I thought was fucking badass. I don't know. It kind of reminded me of the bit in FMA, like where like Mustang is like at that funeral and he's just like having a, like, it's just see like, he's just like chilling there. And he's like, it's an awful day for it to rain though, like that. And then it's like, no, nah, but it isn't raining, sir. And then he's fucking cry with his head. I'm like, yes. You know, like, I'm like, Oh, it just, it was like that. And I'm like, that was some badass shit. But the episode 300 is coming up. And Shogun Assassination is coming up. And for anime only fans, if people don't know, that's one of my favorite fucking like, just arcs in general. I didn't get to talk about the start of the arc when I was doing it in the manga. But I went absolutely nuts when, you know, if people have been seeing the previews. And if you haven't, I'm just going to shut my mouth. But shit is going to go down. <laughs> like, just that's it. Shit is going to go down. And... Honestly, I'm really looking forward to this. Honestly, I, I feel like I'm going to get pretty emotional with this shit. I'm going to be tiring the fuck out when it comes to that stuff. And I thought I want to at least talk about this. Because, you know, I am been all the time talking about the anime. A lot of it's just, you know, being comedy. And I do like talking about the comedy in Gintan. But like, sometimes it can be a, be a little bit old sometimes. Just talking about, like, what am I supposed to talk about? Like, oh, it's just a fucking mangaka. But I do love both sides of it. Just because sometimes I don't talk about an episode doesn't mean that I don't love it. It's like, god damn, I fucking love this series. Like, just absolute death. It's just like, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes words, like, uh, not speaking at all speaks louder than actually saying stuff. You know what I mean? God damn, that sounds like some fucking Gintoki lines right there. Other than that, like, the first half, I get it, like I said, honestly, like, the second half, I get it, like, a fucking nine and a half, like, near fucking ten and all that. I, the only uh, thing is, like, I really wish the oil ring thing, fuck it, if you want to add some filler and add some extra parts into it, I really wouldn't have fucking minded that at all. Like, I honestly think the oil ring is way better than the other part that we got in, but... Episode 300, nice big little special that we get to have, like, um, you know, to commemorate, like, 300 episodes of Kintama. That's fucking badass. And obviously, they wanted to do it for, uh, for episode 300, of course. So it's like, make it a big fucking moment. But that's all for me. So thank you much for watching as always. And I'll catch you guys next time.